70 years ago, these courageous men volunteered for a top secret mission that would change their lives forever. When called heroes? No, I'm not, I don't think we are either. Who then could be? The, the one that didn't survive. On April 18th, 1942, the United States launched a courageous and daring air attack against the Japanese home islands. Led by Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Doolittle, the retaliation in response to the attack on Pearl Harbor proved to be a morale boost in America and demonstrated to the Japanese forces that they were not invulnerable. Well, we uh, just separated ourselves from civilization because what was going to happen after that was up to Mother Nature and uh, whatever thoughts we had. I didn't expect to survive the raid because we knew we probably wouldn't make our destination in China. The extra miles they added on. There was hundreds of people on the, on the beach and they, we were flying about 50 feet overhead and they, they, they were waving to us. They were flying so low I could see that they were cheering. I'm sure they thought we were Japanese planes. Yeah. I was hung up in a bamboo tree, yeah. And uh, I knew we were, we were on the side of a mountain, a, a steep hill. And rather than get down and stumble around in the dark, I just stayed up there all night in the bamboo tree. 70 years after the raid, the National Museum of the United States Air Force hosted a ceremony to honor the Doolittle Raiders for their historic mission. We are grateful we had the opportunity to serve and mindful that our nation benefited from our service. To honor the 80 men and their bombers, 20 refurbished B-25s took off from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base to fly a formation tribute to the surviving Raiders. That's what it's all about this weekend, is honoring the Raiders. The survivors are the M-64 of the Raiders, the field crucial raid, and the Hornet survivors. That's the whole story we're here to tell. The Doolittle Raiders are remembered most for what they did in the cockpit, but they needed luck and help from strangers to survive the aftermath of the mission. Many aircraft crash landed, or the air crew was forced to bail out in or near China. Professor He Shuang was six years old when her father aided in the rescue of Doolittle and his crew. In 1942, my father, together with uh, his colleague and other countrymen, has found the crew members of uh, General Doolittle and his crews. And because they are bailed out, so they are all they are at different places. The countrymen managed to find out, find them, and rescue them. Out of 80 Doolittle Raiders, only five are living today. 25,000 attendees witnessed what could be the last Doolittle Raider reunion. 25,000 that will keep their legacy alive. Reporting from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio. I'm Matthew Klaus.